okay so hello friends today our topic is the drowning so what is drowning drowning means aspiration of fluid into the airway okay now there are two types of drowning first one is wet drowning and second one is dry drowning sorry this is wet wet and second one is drown drowning and the wet drowning is of two types that is the first one is fresh water and second one is the sea water okay so here in both case fluid enters into the lung okay but uh, in dry drowning fluid does not enter lung so let's see the mechanism of the both drowning so first come to so first come to the weight drowning and in underweight drowning we will discuss about the freeze water drowning so let's let's take this is the airway then this is the blood compartment sorry this is the lung compartment and then this is the blood compartment okay so this is the airway this is the lung compartment and this is the blood compartment okay so after getting water into the airway here face water are hypotonic okay so now it will go to the lung compartment then from lung compartment due to hypotonic character it will the water will reach the blood compartment through the process known as osmosis now due to increase in blood in the blood compartment increase water or the volume in the blood compartment hemodilution will occur occurs as a result hemolysis will occur that is the rbc of breakdowns okay now it will cause increase in the potassium level or hyperkalemia which will cause cardiac arrhythmia and ultimately leads to death okay now come to the sea water drowning so sea water are hypertonic because the in sodium potassium sodium let's say sodium is present there so it is hypertonic <coughs> hypertonic now what happened first take this is airway so this is airway this is the lung compartment and this is the blood compartment okay so first it will go to the lung and here the blood will get there and this is the blood compartment so due to hypertonic in nature it will collect water from the blood through the process osmosis because here in a cl sodium lots of cl minus is present so osmosis it will get the water so it will cause the pulmonary edema 
pulmonary edema which will cause respiratory failure. failure and ultimately death so in seawater drowning the death is due to respiratory failure but in wet freshwater drowning the death is due to cardiac arrhythmia remember these two points okay now the left one thing is left that is the dry drowning number two is dry drowning Okay, so here the person will float on the surface of the water. Okay, so H2O will go to pharynx, then it will cause reflex vocal cord spasm and which ultimately leads to the aspicia and ultimately leads to death so here the cause of death is aspicia because vocal cord spasm okay so this was the mechanism of the three thing wet drowning and uh, no, in fresh water sea water and the dry drowning okay reflex vocal cords passing so thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video then please do like hit the like button and please do subscribe